Hey guys, I'm Nick Velazzi. Welcome to episode 10 of Two the Culture. I'm here with Dozen underscore one J19. You know it. Shout out, shout out to goddamn Domino's. We love y'all. We, we need to be sponsored. Man, they were eating all these brownies off the camera. I didn't even uh, think it's your right boy here. Mikey underscore stack 757. Y'all already know what it is. Y'all know what the fuck going on. Tell them. <laughs> this, this, man like, this man stand up, This man like selling soda, but I was the first to do it. <laughs> so I'm about to uh, eat this brownie first. They, 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 they done ate all the brownie. Just take a bite. I was set up the camera. It's not a brownie. It's a brownie cookie. It's a brookie. That, that shit good. Whatever the fuck it is. So, Before we come also, uh, it's uh, the show on the Sprite came in. Sprite celebrating the 50 year anniversary of hip hop. Yeah. So you know, shout out Sprite. You know, we we big Sprite drinkers over here. You get it? Yeah. Before we get uh. The sh- into these topics. Uh, <coughs> well, I think it took my soul. Hold on. Hey, bro, I'm gonna have you. I'm gonna have you. I'm gonna have you. This is the McDonald's Friday. Uh, I know y'all seen a video of Homegirl. She all over TikTok and Shade Room. Those, the uh, Homegirl that uh, got mad on a flight cussing yeah, everybody she, she out. Was she was drunk. drunk. Well, she you know, drunk. We, we all know her personally. She was on our ship, the Lincoln. She's not on there no more, but. Thank God. Yeah, this is an open invitation to you, girl. If you see this, you're more than welcome to come on our show with me and Ozzy and explain your side of the story. If not, it is what it is. We just want to give you a platform to, you know, say what you got to say. But uh, yeah, let's get this. Let's get this show right, started. So, as we know, the NBA Finals. It's a Denver Nuggets versus Miami Heat. Nigga, what is this, my other? <laughs> nah, I'm going with the Heat, bro. I I'm going with the Jimmy. Nuggets and six, bro. Jimmy, I don't know. Y'all can try. Jimmy, you seen y'all can build this man? This man stand like Jimmy this. Buggies. He was like this. Jimmy Buggets. That boy, y'all can shoot like Jimmy this, and that buggies. shit still go in. You can't. That that, that white boy buggies. can't be stopped. I'm going. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure he's rushing. Russian, white, Jimmy. whatever. I know he winning. Nuggets and six. Jimmy motherfucking. Twerks. Jimmy Buckets is that guy though. I fought with you, Jimmy, but I don't think y'all gonna be enough for Murray and the Joker. I, I, don't, I, think, I just don't think. Gonna I don't think enough. it's gonna be Heat and six. I'm gonna say like it's gonna it's gonna be four three. I said Nuggets. It's gonna be close. I didn't say he. I said Nuggets. And oh, six. Okay. <laughs> Who you think gonna win? I think he gonna win. I I think it's gonna be close though. Cause they're not winning, bro. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Because they, they're both they're both. But everyone doing good. Oh. I'm just saying, like, it's not gonna be like a sleep. As long we better not the team that got sleep. Man, my, my my Lakers didn't do so well. I ain't a Lakers fan. I'm a Braun fan. But yeah, same hey. thing. I'm a Dallas Mavericks fan, so I don't even get an input. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, I don't trade Kyrie to the Lakers. No, that nigga's going to the Lakers. I don't think so. I think that nigga's going. Lakers. They were saying interested. Good interested. Shit, speaking of sports, man. I just say some shit about D Hop, bro. I think he's he trying to get a four year max deal with uh with the Texans. For real? Yes, bro. He trying to go back there? Yes, bro. He going for the money. He ain't going. He ain't going. Actually, the Texans might be alright this year though, because they drafted some decent players. Nah. They got CJ Stroud. They, they got Will Anderson. They Baltimore. got Schultz from us. No, they got Baltimore, Noah Brown. Baltimore, bro. He would have teed up in Baltimore. Bro, if he go to Baltimore with so OBJ bro. and Lamar. <laughs> oh my oh, God. <laughs> Well, the Ravens come on. Out. The Ravens game kind of You know, it's kind of crazy. You remember uh, that one dude, uh, Ray Rice? If that man wasn't beating on his wife, he could he could have not. He, he yeah, he, he won the Super Bowl him. and everything. He was doing oh, Ray Lewis, man. No, Ray Rice. Ray Rice. He won that drag that beat his wife. His wife spit on him and he dragged him. He dragged Ray Lewis. Don't they cut the murder? Yeah, but he beat them charges. Yeah, he did. But we know. Speaking of murder, speaking of murder charges, man, I'm talking about another fans. This is the Speaking of murder charges, the Florida State player Travis uh, Rudolph. Y'all saw what happened here, man. Yeah, that shit crazy. You see him holding on trial, lying her ass off. So his girl, so his ex girlfriend, she uh, she she beat on him and he he kicked her out. And then he didn't put his hands on her. And then so she sent her brothers. Sent they they saw the text messages of her saying her brother and her friends to, to go to go to go take him out. Yeah, I know. they talking about oh she was like oh no this is a, a threat. He said no she really was trying to end that man's life. So they pulled up to his house with guns and obviously Charlie Rudolph he got his own legal protective firearms. So he, yeah, they shot at him. He's like boop 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 boop. He started he started he started firing. They say he brought that AK out. Yeah, yeah. So they said the dude that had died, the one that he killed, the one of them. Yeah. They were saying, I just watched like a little trailer, a little clip of the shit. They yeah. were saying, uh, the dude had died with his hand on the gun. His hand, like when you die, I guess like your muscle spasms up and yeah. shit. So he died like this, and his fingers were still clutched on the gun and shit. 
and they ended up finding the guns that they had threw out the car but they were speeding on the road. Yeah, yeah but what the thing I hate the most about this right. whole story is that they labeled him not as, they labeled it as, oh, he's a murderer instead yeah. of saying self-defense. Because if you read the story, he they came up to his house. He didn't just go up to them. It was Texas, boy. Him. Yo, it was fucking, Texas. His fucking girlfriend, whatever the fuck, she should be locked up, bro. That bitch said that whole said, shit up. Bro, what killed me, she was like, they was like, man, um, so you didn't tell Travis Rudolph that you have a husband and you were in a marriage? Yeah, I saw that. She was like, no, he didn't ask. He didn't ask. My personal business <laughs> <didn't ask>. <laughs> wasn't supposed to be out there at this time. What? I don't know what it is, but a lot of women don't like uh, taking accountability, man. It's, uh, at all. This, this, this is a, this is, this is, uh, that should be a whole episode this, of this, this, own. This, this accountability, this yeah. is a woman. Oh. You see that Muhammad Ali where he's like, nah, 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 Jail time or something. Yeah, I mean, you set that whole shit up. It's crazy. Like, like the whole story is being flipped and twisted to make the woman seem like she's the good guy. Oh, and the whole time, the bro, I, I was reading the article. I said, "Oh, I said, damn." I said, "He must have. He must have been super angry." Yeah. This man was attacked at his house. Yeah, I was and watching. Was, and then they beat his brother. That's why he came outside. Yeah, with yeah. I was watching uh, Academic Extreme. He was talking about it. He was like, "Yeah." They was all like, "Yeah, that bitch. She deserved a ride." Yeah, it's crazy how they always trying to make the black man look like the bad guy. Yeah, I know. Uh, that's what they do around here. Speaking of black girls, you might have to get like you, bro. You need to give me a white girl. I don't got no white girl. You ain't got no white girl? But nah. you like white women, so shit. You know where they at. <laughs> <laughs> wait, what you say? If they ain't snowing, I ain't going? Yeah, that's it. My wife is Mexican. Said, uh, my wife is Mexican. <laughs> what was that thing? Ski. Ski. You know my wife Mexican, right? Huh? Ski. You know my wife Mexican, right? You married? Yes, nigga. What? We didn't get married. I ain't get invited. Yeah, maybe like back in 2021, 20, like two, three years ago. Damn. Anyways, Damn. so Shannon Sharp, right? He's ending. Hold on, time out. Before we switch, since we're on the race topic, why they got? Why people so mad about the Little Mermaid? With uh, what's her name? Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's another thing on the on the thing. Because I was gonna talk about that. Doctor right. Umar, Doctor Umar was getting mad. He was like, "Oh, she's they're swimming in the in the white building." If I play this clip right here, man, she's, she's swimming. In oh, the look, 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 look. This, this is the TikTok right here. Insane brothers and sisters. We can't even have a cartoon. With black on black love. We can't even have a car. He's mad because the little mermaid, the, the guy that she attracted to is not a black guy. <laughs> she's upset about that. Yeah. I said, we can't well, not, have a car. It, the race really don't matter. Black on black love. It's getting out of control. It's anyway, he, of control. He, he, I've used a doctor anymore. Anytime he's so pro black that if, if, if a black man is with a white woman or someone that's, excuse yeah. me, with a woman that's not of uh, the same color. He gets super upset and hurt. He's like, I'm like, bro, like you gotta realize that in order to be pro black, pro black does not mean being hateful of other of other colors. Pro black just means that you celebrate what you are and don't let people take away from you. But the moment you start talking down to other cultures and belittling it, then it makes you just as bad as the other people. Yes, a black person cannot really be racist towards a white person because if you're in a country where you're a minority, you're, you disliking them and trying to send them out because of the color is not gonna do anything because systemic racism stops that. But you can still be racist. Like, and Dr. Umar, he, be out, but he has a lot of racist undertones of what he be saying. And so, like, I, it's, it's literally just a kid's movie, bro. Like, I don't know why people yeah, are really so deep into it. Like, I've never seen grown, grown men that don't even watch Disney movies care about this. Get a job, touch grass. Like, bro, you really make me sick. Like, you could be working out. And some of y'all do need to hit the gym. Y'all fat. Make me sick. But that, that just means, <laughs> first of all, like, if you felt that, then that's on you. Like, I heard the movie's good. Go take your children to see that. Go they said it's good for your father, father and daughter. It's just like go ahead, see that, man. Go, y'all go, y'all go support good movies, man. Yeah, sure. So, who's the girl I play? Haley Berry, Chloe Bailey. Uh, Haley Bailey. Shout out Haley Bailey, man. Them, them Bailey sisters be putting in work lately, man. We see what y'all doing out there. So, Especially that I'm doing. Y'all freaked out. I ain't saying nothing. Y'all, 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 y'all,
Hey, they shout out to you. One of the homeboys passed away, so he made the brand to commemorate his uh, past. That's dope, man. That's, that's dope. That's and it's a uh, three M two, so it's got the reflective material, so they can see you shining from any angle. Yeah, talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. That that what I that. Clean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for some saying like. Anyway, so next topic is about Shannon Sharp, how he's leaving the what is the undisputed show. About damn time. Yo, Skip Bayless, fuck you. I don't care if you're a Cowboys fan. You hate on LeBron, you can suck a dick, nigga. He, he really, he always <laughs> tries to say LeBron James is not a goat. He said he doesn't have six rings. How many players don't have six rings and still considered to go because the statistics? You know, Jordan's nuts. He don't like to be. You know, it's crazy. LeBron's got the, he, he beat uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Michael Jordan in the all-time scoring. But they don't want to give him props. And they like, oh, well, he's been in for 20 years. And how many times did Michael Jordan retire and come back? Crickets. Like they always be trying to hate. No disrespect to Kobe. Kobe was in. He, he played twenty seasons. He's a third all time leading scorer. Mm-hmm. Well, nobody said nothing about that. Rest in peace, Kobe. But still, like it's just, just stop hating, man. I'm tired of y'all hating on LeBron. There's a lot of y'all LeBron haters out there, and y'all make me fucking sick. You know, you know, know what I think it is, bro? I think people just like hating on older players because they're like, oh, it's a young man. If it's a young man, man, how can you crush them and beat them in the game? Yeah. If they're a really young man, how can they can't stop a, a six foot eight, two hundred fifty pound person that work out more than them? Kind of sad, dude. LeBron's 38, 39. He didn't put up 39. He put up 40 points in that last game. Averaging is crazy. Like, bro. It just means that these young boys need to step up. He said it. He said, I'm better than 95% in the NBA. He said 90, maybe maybe 95. Man. You know what? I agree with him. Statistically, he's not wrong. <laughs> I know. He's up you know, numbers. <laughs> they just hate on him because he got a receiving hairline. But I, I bet you they bank account receiving too. That shit go on and on and on and on. Yeah, they, they, <laughs> mad, they mad. They mad that he that his, his, he's still together with his family. He got three beautiful kids. His son's going to the USC. His, his, his younger son's probably gonna go to college too. Both his sons are drafted. His wife's a, his wife's a beautiful black queen. That holds and they, down. They hate that. They hate that. They hate that. Oh, oh. My man opened a school for all the kids. Like, come on, bro. Y'all just hate it at this point. Y'all hate it for no reason, bro. Y'all be taking the sports shit way too far. Steph Curry likes skinned ass. He don't like homeless people. <laughs> he, 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 just, he just like Joe Austin. But they praise Curry, though. Yeah, no. That Joe Austin guy, the pastor, yeah. he wasn't letting people into his church. Yeah. He said, if you're not a member, you can't come in to see you that. Know, they that's crazy. You know, they he, was was doing, do that. he was talking about they didn't have money to like afford and shit. And I guess they were doing like reconstruction. They found money in the wall. found money in the wall, bro. I, I hated that. So I said, hey, I had told my mom, Joe Austin is a, is a fraud, man. Like, yeah, he one of those uh, pastors that just be stealing money from the people, bro, yeah, using yeah. it for, it's for, it's about for who knows they, what. They put Jesus in it. Yeah. yeah. Be fun. I, it's crazy how people can use religion to, to spread evil. I mean, I said, yeah. say it in the Bible, bro. Yeah. Fra- false prophets. No, I, I got a little too deep. I ain't going to lie. I got a little too deep. But uh, speaking of uh, false prophets, you know, the baby, uh, his baby mama, Slash uh, oh, X-Men. Yeah, it was like, it's 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 like, the LBT community. And I came out with a big booty shake song, and then but summer song, and then you, you make a song about throwing some cheeks and shake a song, and all of a sudden, and people come back like, you know, maybe you know, like, yeah, they're, they're like, you know, I shake my ass. They're, they're like, maybe he's maybe he's not that bad. Yeah. <laughs> Like, the, the baby's not the real topic. This uh, his, his baby mama, Danny Lee, Danny Lee, or Danny Lee, how you pronounce her name? She got arrested for a DUI. She hit that ain't, somebody. That ain't she didn't just hit that somebody. Nah, she drugged that nigga for like a block. Yeah, she it, look. Yeah. I was reading the article, victim got hospitalized with a spinal fracture and kidney laceration. If you guys don't know what laceration means, it's a cut, right? So that means the kidney got sliced open. Yeah, so he's, he's in crit- that person's in critical alert. Yep. And they uh, academics they reached out to to her her like her what is it? Her her PI, public public agent or whatever, yeah. publicist, yeah. and it didn't have to respond. I mean, I don't know how they respond to that. Yeah, right? yeah. She literally that's attempted that not attempted manslaughter. Manslaughter. So like Literally almost killed somebody because she wanted to be drinking and driving. Yeah. Like, how, you have all this money, you can hire a you can hi, hire a chauffeur, you can get an Uber. I know she's not broke, so like the fact that people do this, you work you work so hard and you mess everything up because you can't control yourself yeah. to like put down the drink. Yeah. Like, it's nothing wrong with drinking, but if you're gonna be drinking a lot, at least find a way home safe, man. It's, there's never any she's point in my brother getting beat up at that boat now. Yeah. Like, 
She needs to be worried. Weeks. She needs to be there. Yeah. Maybe he does. <laughs> hey, he nigga, fuck. He, he, <laughs> I said, damn. He, he person. I'm not your older brother. I don't understand why rappers keep thinking that nigga. The baby even said he said I was a street dude before I was a rapper. I'm not one of these. Yo, he beat a murder case, right? He beat two murder cases, and also technically it's not murder; it was self defense because one. What's the other one he beat? I know about the self defense one. The, the, the one, one at Walmart. Yeah, that sure. one was the same thing. Another dude pulled up on him when he was like at a show. He he he, he stayed strapped up with a, with a with a blick. And he was like, he and said, then, no. and then his um. His um his little little artist yeah a little millionaire or some shit like that stunner for Vegas oh, for Vegas no 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 that's another dude with a big head dude he uh, ended up shooting up a club with an uh, AK and beat the murder case I don't know about it he, he, he got one in sound belief he must have the same lawyer as OJ yeah that was for, so for, 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 for that case, I don't think that's self defense yeah. but the one on my the one at Walmart though like he was with his daughter and, the, and some dude was trying to run up and rob him yeah I heard about and that he, he shot him and they were like oh well you have a legally registered firearm out he well it wasn't illegal it's just that when you have it was I think it was in South Carolina or something like you have to have the gun in the car so yeah. it's legally registered but you can't take it out and he was like well I'm protecting my family and he said shot he said so well, I'd be wrong if I let my daughter get murdered and yeah. that's how I beat the case and he's not wrong though like if he was in Texas no one would ever end up on him because everyone in Texas pretty much got a gun because the concealed carry laws. Yeah. So I don't think guns are bad. I think the yeah, people like <laughs> the people that don't have self control with guns are bad because a gun don't do anything until the wrong person pulls the trigger. Well, yeah. That's right. But still, yeah. some of these automatic weapons, these niggas should not be. They should. Look There's no reason why a gun should have a switch. Look, look. What do you need? I don't believe in banning guns, but I don't feel like motherfuckers should have access to Dracos and AK. Rocket launchers. Yeah. Rocket launchers is crazy. Like, what do you? Are you fighting Al Qaeda? Come on, bro. bro. I can legally go to. I can go back home to Texas bro. and get a. Fight. All, all these people that got hooked here, y'all messing with the wrong rockets, like for real. Because a lot of these mass shooters that be having, these niggas be having these semi or these automatic guns that, like, if they got a nine, you're not gonna be able to kill as much people yeah. as with a fucking AK. If, I can, I can get maybe having like a, a rifle if you're going hunting, but then you need to have a hunting license. Yeah, right? or like if you're in the military, you license and you go through a background track. That's cool. I'm okay with that. But somebody like us three, no, I need no offense yeah. to us, but we shouldn't be. I look like I just be killing people. No, I'm just saying. Excuse me, like, like average, average Joe, my man. The average right. Joe nigga should not be able to go. Or to a 17 year old. And I'm trying to a seventeen-year-old should not be able to order an AR with a scope online. Use it using a, a, a credit card. Like that's you should not be able to buy it online with a credit card. Well, I can, just, I can go back to Texas and get a flamethrower off of Amazon, or the not a flamethrower from uh, Elon Musk. Even though it's not <laughs> it, it, the brand is literally called not a flamethrower. Like I can't make this up. It's it's hilarious. But it's just crazy how like so much stuff is like easily accessible, bro. All right, I got a topic for us. I got a topic. What? So. I don't know if y'all tapped into this new Kodak album and this Dirk album, but who y'all, who y'all, so, who y'all with? I haven't listened to the whole Kodak album, but I, I listened to the intro. This is something. I it's saw the music video. He trying, yeah. he trying to like, like do a different sound. It was all right. My favorite song was the first one, Pistol Arrows. Right. So, right? Yeah. yeah. So you the last one shit on that motherfucker. So the no, I know, but I'm saying that's my favorite one. Really? So yeah, the last one that catch you? Yeah. Wow. I, I feel like he got a he got a harder song that's that's hard. So the this little dirt album, nigga. I know, <laughs> I know. I'm just saying. So the little dirt album, obviously, therapy session was really good because it's basically like talking about everything that's happened in the past few years. At least it keeps it there. What about that kill both thrill shit? Mm-hmm. Cut cut let me, throw bill. Let me, let me finish. You talking about the album that he dropped like two albums yeah, ago? I'm going somewhere. Yeah, finish finish. But the therapy session, I like how like at least keeps the therapist. He's talking about how like it must be tough, and he's like. Uh, like this is the time to be vulnerable. And you know, like, people don't like being vulnerable in public. And that's what the good thing about being an artist, you can be vulnerable in your music. Yeah. So you might not see an artist cry in public, but they're gonna tell you how they feel on the song. So I hate when I go to an interview and someone say, how do you feel in this song? And the song will literally be like, man, I feel like everything sucks and I feel like dying. I said, what, you want me to explain the lyrics but I'm literally telling you how I feel? Yeah. But I hate when interviewers ask dumb questions like that. Never, never that grass on the song is hard too, though. Oh, yeah, no, uh, call that. That shit hard. That nigga said, Yo, that shit hard. Better j- go to church. War, go war about it. it. Like, yeah. War about it. Feeding 21 Savage and uh, 300 Years. That shit was hard too. Really? Same side feeds Rob. I think never again. I like no auto. I like no auto. Never again. But, uh, but every time you use the no auto, and it's not using the auto to me, yeah. just straight drawer out. I like that. But I also like when you use the positive stuff, but like. Cause he he knows still don't like fucking all my life. Like, yeah. I can't. I, I hate that. Song. He, he said he don't I like the kids. He don't like the kids. Yeah, I just feel like they. they he kill. said he said it. I feel like he should have used like like a gospel. You know that's not the only song. I know that. Got that. The I know that. But I'm saying though, I don't I don't like the way he did. I feel like he should have used the church. Could have used the choir. 
I don't really even like his verse in that shit, honestly. I like J. Cole part more. I think like J. Dirk. J. Cole had two verses. If I didn't know that, that was a J. Cole featuring. Uh, even Dirk said J. Cole washed him on that. Yeah. <laughs> but he only had a short ass work. It was literally. I, I, thought, I thought he was going to come back with another verse like after the, the hook. I thought so too. I thought it was going to be Dirk, Cole, and Dirk. So it's kind of like that uh, when. So. What song was that? It, it was. It's another song that's just like that where like the, the feature overtakes the artist. Oh, it was. It was a song with uh, 21 Savage, uh, Knife Talk, by yeah. Drake. Yeah. Drake is the person on the song, but it felt like a 21 Savage song featuring Drake. 21 Savage said that was his song. Or, it was for <laughs> Savage Mode too, but they gave it to Drake. Oh, oh I got that, that, one, that one with uh, Dirk and Lil Baby off of the DJ Khaled song. Oh, every Got chance. Got two million on my checklist two years ago. Oh, every chance that I get. That yeah. shit hard. That's, 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 that's probably one of Khaled's yeah. hardest songs he ever Lil, dropped. I'm not gonna lie, Lil Baby be saving people's careers, bro. Like. DJ Khaled snap on that too though. No, no, let me. I just want to continue. I'm like DJ Khaled's not falling off, but I'm just saying like if you put Lil Baby on the future, you're gonna get really you're gonna get gold at, at a minimum. You're getting gold. I, I really haven't even heard like, nothing about him lately though. Yeah, because he has been kind of he been kind of cold. Not oh, cold, but he's not. He was beats been dropping crazy, bro. No, forget he, that. You know what's coming up tomorrow, tonight, or midnight? The Metro Boom album for Spider Man and Money Bag Yo. Don't sleep on Money Bag Yo. No, I'm not sleeping. Money Bag Yo, one of my favorite. I, I, I thought he was. I just wanted to switch. Oh, he's supposed, supposed to drop last week because I like. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. What is what's the album? I like the album Time Served. Gangsta's Paradise. The Mem- Afghanistan with Sway Lee. Is that all my homies? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, nah, that last <laughs> album dropped with Wakisha on there. That shit was hard. Yeah. Was that Gangsta's Paradise? I like Paradise. Yeah. Oh, Wayne and uh, Shanti. Shanti. Yeah, that shit was the, hard too. The only thing I hate about Wakisha is that like with the whole everybody like overdosing on drugs thing. I just like the whole week, the whole worst and lean thing. I just stop, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Like, Young people don't really rap about that no more. People people rap about lean all the time. <laughs> You're not in Texas, bro. Yeah, it's, not, it's not even just Texas, but people they be like, if you hear someone say double cup or I mix in the Fanta, people are not mixing Fanta with like with like Hennessy, bro. They're you see they're you know, making they're making Fanta lean, bro. So you see with me though, when it comes to rap, like lately, I haven't really been listening to a lot of these new niggas. I've been listening to established rappers that I've been listening to, like yeah, some like, new niggas that come out. Yeah, it's big right now, bro. It's, like especially we got some little little, little twerk songs. Got a couple of yeah. Uh, it's always gonna be party and club. It's always gonna be club beats. Yeah, songs, that's but the songs that like when I'm, I'm not, when I'm like when I'm in the car, I'm like, yeah, let me turn that on. I'm, I'm not put me in a good mood type thing. I'm not in tune with these TikTok smashes yeah, and all this other like, shit that these younger niggas like. I'm not even talking about y'all. I'm talking about like these 19, 20, 21 year old niggas is listening to. I'm just like, you know, I'm an older hand. So I listen to a lot of old school shit. There's, there is this one song that I like. Uh, I don't know if you know the guy that plays uh, Tariq from Power. Ghost, yeah, he, he produced Michael music. Rainey, I, he, I didn't know, yeah, Michael Rainey Jr. I didn't know he uh produced music, so he has an artist, he has an artist named uh, Wolf Face Joey. He has a song called Buku and uh, Shake It with featuring B Love. I, I said, This is straight production value was crazy. You know who go crazy, you know, like on some slept on shit. Who fucking uh, what's his name, YMB Corday? Oh, it's just Corday now, it's Corday. Is he not in the group? My father, no, I'm just saying, they don't got the group no more. Yeah, the group broke like two years ago, bro. So Fucking Almighty Yeah, yeah. And he was and then, Oh he did a song With uh, MGK They did a live performance yeah, it was, And it was hard Like they was Five MGK, MGK was snapping I'll keep it real I never got into court You know it's crazy I'm, I'm not saying He can't I can't say he can't He got some songs He just never like Appealed to me Yeah like the song He has with uh With Anderson Pack Called Real Nigga Problems That shit hard that, What I'm about to check it out You're sleeping I never yeah. heard of that song And then he has the It's a Mercy And he got a song With uh with Lil Wayne too I heard that. That song, that song was crazy. Lil Wayne was, song, Lil Wayne was, was, he, that song he was, was a fly. I said, oh, he's gonna go stupid. I heard that, that song. That man, him, him and Moore, for real, that shit. And, and, and him and Anderson Pop, when they made music together, yes. they combo be beautiful. Wow. Like, they're, they're synced. And Anderson Pop's a good artist. Yeah, yeah. He, he R&B and rap, and he be doing yeah, pop, yeah. and he be doing funk. You like, Mar- uh, what's his name, More Than Wallen and uh, Dirt? Like oh yeah, actually I like that song. Like, I don't even like country like that. I but I like uh yeah, this this guy, side. I like there's this guy named Louis Capaldi. He's like a UK he even doing UK like country and his music's pretty straight. You know how I respect you know how I'm fucking with Dirk though. I like how he's been trying to branch out a little bit. He ain't just doing straight Jill, kill the nigga for the first option. one he the first one in Chicago to start singing and shit. Though. Yeah. Well let's see he did that one song. He, he did that uh Jamaican uh wine song called Can You Be My Friend? Yeah. And that song was actually pretty hard. He said him and Morgan. Nah, 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 nah. Dirk said that. And that song was pretty hard. Dirk said that him and Morgan Wallen, like, locked in. Like, yeah, like, they, 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 they were like, fishing again. Like, they, yeah, you seen that? Yeah. After Morgan Wallen said the end song. Like, like, you know, you remember when he had the video that nigga said? I hate when people say that because how can you be dressed? 
Wabi was just on his front yard because he can't go anywhere. Yeah, he, he, no, stop. Look, don't even. Don't be a rider right now. Don't be. Hey man, you got a license. You D riding crazy right now. Wabi, look. This you, ain't you. Wabi, look. You're defending him. First of all, let me stop you right there. Right? Free Wabi. Oh I pray you beat that case. Got he is so free in his house. No. Yeah. Nigga. Listen, listen, just get off house. I hope you get off. No, I hope you cure that. Find a cure for that herpes. That's what you need to do. Herpes. If you go to Cuba, you can, they have a cure, cure for her, herpes in Cuba. You should go to Cuba, but that's not important <laughs> right now. Pause for the whole thing. Everyone's saying that he's copping his fit. You're going fishing. What are you going to wear? This man is wearing a fishing outfit in his front yard, smoking a black listen. smoking a cigarette. Uh, the this dirt, smoking jacks. The dirt and the YB fans, they come up with anything just so they can he make said, a reason. He was like, who did it better? I said, well, imaginary I said, they were like, who did it better? I'm like, he's going fishing. It's not about drip. He's just protecting himself, having fish guts over his clothes. Like, what? Yeah. He was Listen, love preaching. Did y'all watch the academics interview with Dirk? Yeah. When, when Dirk said, who did he kill? He didn't, he doesn't affect me. Boy, one young boy did not kill he nobody. Said he, he, he said his beef is with Lil Tim and, and, and Quando Rondo. He said, young boy ain't, he said this dude's acting like he had part of the beast. He, he, he said, was he behind him. the trigger? Is Dirk is not worried about him, bro. Yeah. He Trust said, me. He said, I mean, did not kill Vaughn. Yeah. And it's so crazy for him to be saying this man making music talking about when I see him. So I'm like, ain't gonna do sh- he said, ain't gonna do he shit. said, worry about what figure you're gonna put on today so that way you can feel good about all the money you make. That's what you need to be worried about. <laughs> you see, I, I can do a backflip right outside my, my front yard where I can go to like the park and do that. You can't do that. You know why? All the money you make will never make you happy because you can't walk outside of your house or the vicinity of it. Right. The last time you were able to go freely was when you went to the courtroom. <laughs> and mind you, I'm, I like YB Young Boy, but what I'm not gonna do is act sit here and let people just deride on a crazy level. This whole YB better, okay, he cool, he got he got good music. I don't it's see that un- shit. Undeniable. Man. But the problem is when people blindly just suck somebody off like this is crazy. Like get a life. Like there's no reason for you to be riding somebody like you don't. He doesn't know you. No matter how many times you you make your little oh my gosh YB so great. He's he he doesn't see. He even says and he said I don't even like my fans like that anymore because. Uh, the things I like, I used to like, I don't even know. He, he said, say, gang. He like, say, gang. I'm, I'm not even on that. No. He, he was like, stop. stop that's when he had his nails painted? Yeah, he, he was like, stop. Like, that's like, that's, what, that's what he sounds like, right? right? Yeah, duh. Yeah. All right, next time. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? That man hurt, it, bro. I know you was a YG fanboy like that. You are mad. That's because he painted his nails? Yeah. Like, I don't care if you painted his nails. I was I just know, saying, I'm joking. I was just saying, like, it's funny that people be going so hard over musical opinion, like, they're like, oh, like, he's a gang. I'm like, you're not in the game, bro. Like, this whole 4KT versus OT, I'm like, none of you guys gang bang. So the fact that you guys go so hard about artists that don't care about you, you don't slot for these artists. You don't kill for them. They don't pay you. You're not on the payroll. So to be this hurt about what they're doing, they're just kind of sad. Lame, even. Goofy activity. You know what I'm saying? Hey, what's on this? What's that, what's that, uh, what's what's that thing called? No, nah, it's, it's a uh, next topic club. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's crazy. I mean, that man on some peon activities right now. He said, oh, you know why I was calling you a peon? Because you, you act like a bird right now. You act like a real pigeon. Yeah. yeah. It's because you flop, you flop into the YB right now. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Anyway, next topic. So the feds, they seize uh, R. Kelly's uh, money he was making from Sony. They seized everything else in my like Apple Music, but now they're sealing it from the last spot. So now R. Kelly... I didn't even see that. I didn't even see that. It just happened like, earlier today, so... The feds seized his money. And you know what? Normally, I can say that you can separate. Uh, yeah, you need to be thinking about drinking some tea so your voice won't cry. That's what. That's what. I love that song. Like, no, no joke. That's that song. And same girl. At least same girl used to be cool until I realized that. He probably was talking about a twelve year old. So and that Usher had. And Usher had herpes. So yeah, that song. Oh, well, that's what he meant by. It. When he said, I uh, let it burn. <laughs> I, would hate to be the, I would hate to be the girl that they both was messing with. Man, that's <laughs> tough. I mean, you know what's funny? In the, in the music video, you find out that they're twins. You won't, you won't notice unless you watch the music video, which is kind of funny. <laughs> but what, normally I would say separate the artist from the music. But in this case, because R. Kelly's music is about like R&B and... and AJ and number, and, and, number. Yeah, like... I, 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 <laughs> He really came out with a song bro, like AJ bro, does, but I was looking at some shit, bro. He was he was saying uh, it was a Leah song. I got you know, yeah, I mean, they got married. Yeah. They got married when she was like sixteen, right? Yeah, that's he crazy. was dating her when she was like twelve. That's insane. insane. I can't let the parents let that slide. Money is is the root of all evil. No, the the lust for money is the root of all evil. The greed, because money don't do nothing until you until you kill someone over it. 
You got like, everybody on you that I don't know about? Nah. It's just that where I'm from is a phrase. It's like it's like it's there's there's a phrase in Ghana where I'm from. It's called it's uh, the phrase is Sikaya Buja, which means blood is money. So the moment you ever seen that money? Have you ever seen that movie? Uh, blood, blood money. Yeah, yeah. Blood yeah. the black yeah. 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 So yeah. Like, it's, it's a interesting. What? Movie. No, it's not. It's just the way. It's not. He just out. Oh, that's another nigga. He said. He said. He said. He said. Yeah, that nigga. Like what? <laughs> what? What? Yeah. No. How is that gonna let me know who that is? No, not Idris Elba. Hold up, it's the, the African no. Idris Elba. It's Al- not Al- Idris Elba. Let's put some respect on that. Al- Idris Elba, that young man, that the goat's name. Right yeah, there. come on, dog. No. He said Elba. You know who Elba is? That's the Elba. That's the Elba. It's Elba. Elba, nigga. That's crazy. Oh no, it was Blood Diamond. Yeah, Blood Diamond. That's what it was. Yeah. Shit for him. Shit for him. That's kind of wild, though. I ain't gonna lie. No. But there, everybody was mad at LeBron after the uh, the last game. Cause he almost fought that one dude. They get they got in the shadow match, and then the whole team had to come break. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, like this. Yeah, yeah, was, it was, was Aaron like, Gordon. Was the nigga Aaron Gordon. He, he's so lucky Nipsey Hussle wasn't there, then. <laughs> oh yeah, Nipsey now with this real boy. Yeah, I like it. Nipsey was a real nigga, bro. I'm oh, I don't know if y'all saw like uh, this is funny, but Glo- uh, Boosie named his uh, he, he named one of his dogs Glorilla. He's like, Glorilla, sit down. And uh, so Glorilla, she she named her lizard Boosie. She was like, he said, he said, Boosie. <laughs> she made a video. It was real funny. I was like, that was I a nice little interaction. I need to check yeah, it out. Yeah, that was a nice little interaction. Also, uh, they, they say that the Olive Boys were on the Epstein Island. But apparently the Olive Boys, uh, they're Cuban. Yeah. I didn't know they were I Cuban. I thought, they were, I thought they were straight like white boys. I see them lame niggas because I'm an island boy. He said, why do I said, you are not an island boy. You are at least, you're not that type. You're not a, you're not a, uh, an uh, island of color, like to be saying, like, like is lame. They're, they're, I didn't even know they were Cuban until yesterday. I, I think, think they were white. Lame. Yeah, but that's crazy. They were like their father passed away, so it's, it's probably true because they didn't. You remember when the internet was reaching about XS Killer? They're like, oh, we know who killed him because there was another rapper in the area with a gun that he posted on his story, yeah. and then they had that whole thing. The whole time the dude was, they were all wrong, and so this why you gotta let the feds do their job. So. People, yeah. people draw conclusions. The internet does this all the time because it, it it sounds good. If a story sounds good enough to be true, people gonna believe it. Some of that shit I know. Oh, you know. another thing I want to talk about since we're talking about cases and, and murder trial. Wine W. Melly his uh his case got postponed. It's supposed to be on June. It was supposed to happen a few days ago, but they moved it to June fifth. They're saying they're, they want to they want to redo the evidence with the uh, they want to what's that thing called the the. Right. Yeah. the the analysis for the shooting, they want to redo that, like to get a better for the, re- the shooting reactor. Because before when they do murder cases, they do a reenactment of the of the crime scene to see how the bullets would have flown this way or gone in whatever direction. And they're not they're not supposed to be able to add new evidence once the jury's already been selected. Because that should get dismissed. And yeah, they're gonna beat cause, that. Yeah, because they're so basically they the this original case was supposed to happen last year March, so over. 50, Excuse me. It's, supposed to, it's been delayed for over 15 months. So like, not it's not uh, his the defendant that's postponing. It's the 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 opposing the opposing party to the Y W Melly's uh, yeah. case. They're trying to postpone it so that way they can just like add more BS evidence to it for what it looks like. So as anything, he's how I'm look at it. Is he's innocent until proven guilty. And he facing them. Murder? No, he's facing death. Yeah, death. Yeah, he's facing death. They took it off, and then, they, and then he got a new, uh, he got a new uh, judge. Yeah. So and right now he's been in jail. Man. He's been in jail for almost five years. So like, I know. I mean, King Von did some shit. Yeah, like 20, that's what happens with murder. No, no, but what what King Von is that all the witnesses got murdered. That's right. why. That's why the case got dropped. And he he laughed. He said he said he said what happened about the case? He said I can't speak on that. And he laughed. And then someone pulled up like the videos. It's like uh, motion to. To, to do court was dismissed because evidence were were found missing. They couldn't find. Bro, we know it's King Bob was a serial killer. Bro, like I'm keep it real. I like I, I know like people like his music, but that man was not a good person, bro. Like his music cool, but like when you really look at it, like and you know what they say, like everything that you do comes back to bite you. So if you were killing people, you're gonna go out the same way you're making your money from, right? Yeah. So like for Juice World, he was making music about popping perks and what took him out. Popping perks. I'm still mad. And I, and I see, and I like Juice Wrld. Like he wasn't, a, got into he shit. wasn't a bad person. But I'm saying the thing that killed him was his addiction, because he wasn't out here like shooting nobody, murdering people. But except XXX won't kill nobody. He wasn't. I couldn't get him. I mean, he beat his girlfriend's ass. But, but the the thing with XXX that he, the thing that got him killed was because somebody was pocket watching him and stopping him. Yeah. 
his uh some one that, somebody that did his tattoos. Since we hold on, since we talking about motherfucking rappers and shit. Happy belated birthday to my motherfucking man, Mo Three, man, love, won't live. Yeah, big taxes. Big taxes. You did what I'm saying. Another murdered rapper. <laughs> Crazy. Damn. It's like it's like we had to add all that. I'm just saying. Like, we had to be like, negative. I'm not negative. I'm not saying like, that's, like, that's, how, that's how he was taken from us. Yeah, like, we know what the hell. Like it don't make it any easier. But the point, it don't. the point I was trying to make is that if you're a rapper, certain things that you you rap about can end up being your downfall. So well, like, that's just because like words of permission, like words. Yeah. You speak the Bible. The Bible speak literally says like, that the, you can the, speak the tongue like, is powerful. Damn, we on we on we on church time today. Yeah, the tongue, the tongue, the tongue is powerful. What you speak has a lot of, has a lot of weight. Real talk. So when people, when, that's why when I tell people, people like, oh, I feel stupid or I'm not good enough. Like, don't say that. Because when you do that, you're adding power to what you're saying. And now you believe it, everyone else believes it, mm-hmm. and now it's being reinforced by the world. Yeah, we're gonna be millionaires. So. Yeah. Yeah, Hell we, yeah. We up, up a billion. Especially yeah. when this podcast finally takes yeah. um, What What that man, they, they call they call me uh, Ozzy Bezos because I'm making more money than him. But I'm like them, though. I'm not going to buy an island nah. and then kidnap kids and, you know, man. other native uh, native islanders. Yeah, damn. I'm just going to, like, build some community some resources for the people. Okay, so you're going to be like, Akon. Call me Mikey. Like, Akon really got hey, Call me Mikey Musk, Musk, man, when we get on. Mikey Musk. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to call you. Uh, that's not like Cologne right there. We call you Jay Money. No, we call you Jay Z. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that because Jay Z and Beyonce they they copyrighted their their yeah, name and like it's cool because I'm, I'm I'm getting some lines you feel me <laughs> I like a gangster bitch I don't know. So I just don't like Jay Z at all she be on he was like <laughs> he was like my, my son uh, Ozzy Bezos Ozzy Bezos and Jay Z <laughs> billionaires so right? yeah. oh Jay Lon no Jay Lon Musk <laughs> uh, what's another yeah, name because I'm Musk oh, no, no. what's another name Jay, Jay Rockefeller yeah, that's the other We call him Sheik J because he getting that Dubai money. Sheik the Middle Easterners and the oil, they be having stupid money, bro. Sheik. You know, the property tax in in, uh, in Dubai, they don't have property tax. What do they got in there? I've been there before, but what they got really? in there? They got a lot. Yo, my. I'm lot. trying to go to Thailand. The, the, thing, that, the, the, the thing that they don't have is that you don't really have like too much religious freedom. You know what I'm saying? But that, yeah, you got to be Muslim. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And the women are covered over there. Yeah. They don't even, you can barely see You know, in uh, Saudi Arabia, yeah. it used to be where, like, if you were, if <laughs> women danced in public, like in Saudi Arabia, <laughs> if women would, uh, would dance, they, they used to get stoned. Yeah. Until, like, some laws, and they did a bunch of protests to try to get rid of that. Right. But, like, yeah, that's that's the price you got to Yeah, I just seen some shit, um, I think it was Ghana, actually. But, uh, Joe, uh, Joe Biden was talking about how, like, I guess it was, in, it was somewhere in Africa where they were saying that they they like, killing all the, the gay people and they made it like like a death penalty for it. Oh yeah, it's coming out of the They do that in Jamaica. So Joe Biden was saying that. like, I guess we would like go to war with them or like stop funding like whatever benefits that we have. I saw that connection with them mm-hmm. if they don't like the, the demolish that. See, the my my problem. I don't have a problem with us helping them, but my issue is that. I hate when our country goes ahead and puts more effort into helping other countries and fixing the problems that we got going on right here. How can you help somebody else when you can't help yourself? Like and that same thing goes with relationships. Why should you give someone else advice for a relationship if your own is not successful? That's backwards, right? Yeah, that's backwards. You can't be put you can't be feeding into something and you can't feed yourself. It's like me, if I give you my last meal, right? When I give you my last drink and I die of thirst, that makes me a fool. So at least I should have helped myself before I can help you so I can be in a better position. You know, we out here getting philosophical and we out here. <laughs> and we, we out here giving out. Hey, one of these days, we gotta do a pod that's like not about pop culture, just about like religion. real, real yeah. shit. We will. We get when we get uh when we get Jalen on here, because Jalen wants to have the episode about the finance. It's it's yeah. long overdue. Yeah, probably he's, that, he's religious too. So that that could be episode twelve because there's a lot of stuff. Because like right now in the world, where there's a lot of corruption, a lot of things, it's, it's a lot of agendas being pushed. And if you don't agree with certain gay things, gay no offense to gay people, but yeah. did you see the picture on Bob? Yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, what did he say about Kanye? He said uh, Kanye has been uh, no longer, ha- they have cut ties with Kanye yeah. West. What, did I see this on the Navy? Yeah. On the Navy, the Navy page? No, I'm proud of him. I don't follow him. I don't want them to follow me. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't want them. Uh, and nothing wrong with that. And they, they made some. Why, why they get mad about the Bud Light can again? Because it was a about? transgender that they sponsored and, and they had, and then all, oh, the, all the rednecks. There, there's something I want to talk about, but it's, it's unrelated. But it was funny, like because uh, they were talking about if Mike Tyson wanted to be a transgender, would you let him fight women? And everybody was absolutely not. I said, and they were like, do you see the pop with your logic now? Because like, 
And people were like, they should have their own league. And I said, if Mike Tyson became a woman and started fighting, the point of the point is not to bash the people, but it's to say that if you let everyone just slide in because they're like, oh, I feel this way, then there's no real regulation. And then if a man is fighting a grown man that has changed over, so now it's a woman, they're gonna get seriously hurt. Like imagine Mike Tyson knocking out a hundred eighty pound woman, but like it's Mike Tyson, the man that was trying to fight silverback. Hey Mike, <laughs> if you ever wanna get back in the ring for a couple of meals, I let you knock me out. It won't be. No one's gonna wanna watch a fight where they know the person will get knocked out in the first ten seconds. So I'm gonna run around a little. Bit. At least, at least with uh, what's it? Uh, what was it Logan Paul and Money Mayweather when they fought? At least they know I'm that. Run. Logan was at least training a little bit. I'm gonna run a little bit, bro. A little bit? A little bit. Mike Tyson, you need to bulk up to even be on the same weight class. That man's like 205 pounds. Zip off a little bit. I'm gonna hit my money away with it. Run away. Oh, is it? it, 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 it. Okay. <laughs> you have me in disbelief right there. You say you're talking real crazy right now. I'm not. I wanna get knocked out for a couple of M's. Iron Mike Tyson? I wanna get knocked out for a couple of M's. You ever seen that RC one video where he's like, oh, John John, he got the metal plate in his arm? He got a metal plate in his fist. Yeah. And, but it's, it's hey, just like the flesh before we go, who y'all got winning the game tonight? First one. First yeah, in the comments below, on heat. listen on Spotify, comment Heat or Nuggets. Are, 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 we, are, we, are we cooking with the flame or are we going with the Nuggets? I got Nuggets for six, and I'm going with the Nuggets taking game one. I'm, I'm going with Miami and four. It's going to be like four three. We'll right? visit this uh, next pod. This well, one. it'll probably take two weeks for the finals to like. But like, no, I mean, where, where was it like the? We're, we're gonna keep up with the finals. Next yeah, we gotta we gotta make an Instagram page for. A, it's probably gonna be tuned into the call too. Yeah, we'll we'll leave all that information in the description. But if you're listening on Spotify, leave a comment below. Who you think's gonna win the NBA Finals? And uh, who you think taking Game One? Yeah, he he. Hemi, Hemi Butler. It's hot up in here, bro. He uh he he, he serving he's he's serving portions of him. Hemi like, buckets. Yeah. See, trademark that Hemi buckets. Oh, that's smart. Oh. So they, I, they, I'm trying to do this thing where, oh, actually, I don't want to say it, but like, I was, me and him, I was talking to Jay about how like uh, I'm an alumni of Hemi University, and it, the the requirements to become him are pretty difficult. Yes. So like, you, not everyone can be him. You know, it's just I never, yeah. it's the equivalent of being that guy. But there's a few hims that I know off the top of my head. Yeah. Yeah. We got the Brian. We got Drake. There's who else is him? Who else is him? Who else is him? Ooh, uh, Tom Brady. <laughs> oh, we got, we got, we got to say Jay Z is him. He ain't him because he lost. Jay Z, Jay Z, Jay Z lost. Jay Z lost. Jay Z lost. Still was able to. He got all his targets cleared from drug dealers. Hey, so Jay Z's technically messy. Too. Messy. Jay-Z, you know, Jay-Z, Jay-Z, you know, that man, that man switched to a whole different country. Like I'm talking about, he Patrick Mahomes is him. Yeah, he went to the Middle East and he's getting stupid money with 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 uh, was it Qatar? Yeah, Qatar. How you pronounce the country with the Q? He's making stupid money with them. Like I'm talking about, he's making more money than baseball players and a soccer player combined. Cause that, those are the sports that make the most money. A lot of people don't know that. But uh, we finna wrap this up. We'll see y'all later. And that was tuned into the culture.